from uh, the 50s. We had Marilyn Monroe, Grace Kelly, Cary Grant, Andy Warhol, Cher, to today's stars like Kim Kardashian, Beyonce, uh, Tom Cruise, Jay-Z. Uh, we have a lot of celebrity clientele here who come for the great food and uh, outrageous desserts. So we're going to be making the golden opulent sundae today and we start with our Baccarat Crystal Goblet. This is the heart court crystal goblet and it's the same goblet that is uh, used in the Vatican. Uh, so we're going to take that and line the glass with our 23 karat edible gold leaf and then we have our three scoops of Tahitian vanilla ice cream. And what we're going to do is we're going to infuse them with uh, Madagascar vanilla. It is a really intense vanilla flavor. Then we're going to plate each ice cream scoop with edible cold leaf. And we're going to take some of our chocolate. And this is a mixture of the rarest and the most expensive chocolate the rarest is Amade Chow, and the most expensive is Amade Porcelana. Take our truffles and place them at the bottom of the plate. These gold-plated dragées, which are almonds coated in candy and then coated in edible gold. And then we have candied fruit from Fauchon in Paris. And then we'll add squares of our rare and expensive chocolate. Top that with a gold-plated sugar flour. This is totally edible and it takes about eight hours to make. It's dipped in edible gold. And then we're going to take our caviar, which is a very unique caviar that is salt-free and it's infused with passion fruit and armyac. It's the world's only dessert caviar. And what we like to do is kind of nestle this bowl right on top of our sundae. And here you have the golden opulent sundae. The Golden Opulent Sunday is, is really like a work of art. It's very important how we kind of deconstruct it to eat it. The first thing to do is to remove the bowl of caviar. Uh, we put it up there so it's kind of chilled and then dig in. Mm. So delicious and creamy. The gold has that texture. Chocolate is amazing. Now I'm gonna take a bit of the candied fruit, put a little bit of the caviar on top. Mm. So good. Very rich, very decadent, very opulent. On oh, my tooth? Uh, well, that's part of the fun, <laughs> is eating gold. You get it on your teeth, you have a grill. <laughs> Today we are going to make the quintessential grilled cheese sandwich. Not, not an ordinary grilled cheese. So we start with bread, and this is not your ordinary bread. This is a French Pullman loaf uh, that is baked 